everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are tackling a get it all done. I'll be crossing some things off my to-do list. This is kind of like part two of my Sunday reset. I got all of my cleaning done on the previous day and so today I wanted to focus more on the groceries and um, just get my meal plan together for the week and some other things that I have on my list that I wanted to accomplish. So if you're looking for a little motivation to tackle your own list, I hope that you will stick around and we can get it done together. everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today's video we are doing some get it all done motivation I just kind of sat down last night and did a brain dump of everything that I would like to do some of the stuff is necessary like my Kroger <laughs> groceries I have to take my son to piano lessons um, I would like to prep some sausage balls for the freezer there's some cabinets in the kitchen I want to get to um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to kindly thank Lumi for sponsoring today's video. Body odor is something that we all deal with. It's just part of being human. So the goal is to smell fresh throughout the day, whether you are just going about your daily routine, the gym, work, social events, whatever your day looks like, you wanna smell fresh. Lumi is a whole body deodorant. One application, it's gonna last 72 hours, so literal days this is going to keep you smelling fresh when i say whole body it can be applied anywhere from your pits your feet um your intimate areas so this is the whole body deodorant stick i like to use this under my arms this is the scent toasted coconut and y'all i think this one is my favorite it smells so good lumi does come in eight different scents but if you're one of those that don't really care for scents they do have some unscented options as well. Um, this is the Whole Body Deodorant Invisible Cream. So basically, I put this anywhere that's not my underarm. Anywhere else on my body, I like to use the cream. This is the scent Lavender Sage. Also another good smelling one. They also have a body wash. This is the Acidified Body Wash in the scent Clean Tangerine. Really good for those morning showers. And also the deodorant wipes. So these are great to throw in your bag, keep in your car for on the go. In the mornings, I'll go ahead and throw on my Lumi deodorant and I smell fresh all day long. I don't have to reapply my deodorant. So Lumi was actually invented by OBGYN Shannon Glingman. Lumi is clinically proven to block body odor all day and continues controlling body odor for 72 hours. Lumi is safe for your skin. It's bacon soda free, cruelty free, pH optimized to use anywhere on your body and also paraben free. And one of the best parts is that it does not stain your clothes. So if you guys wanna get started with Lumi and you wanna try the products, I would recommend doing the starter pack bundle. That way you get the full size deodorant. You'll get the cream and also two free items like the wipes or the mini body wash. It's free US shipping and just for my followers, Lumi is offering an extra $5 off when you order at the link on screen. I'll also have it down below in the description box inner code corner at checkout and that's a deal of over 40% off. So a big big thanks to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. So it is raining outside and I don't know about y'all but I don't feel like doing anything when it's raining. I would rather just stay home in my bed or on the couch. A pronoun replaces a noun. So you're gonna look in your sentence and mark your pronouns. You've got one pronoun in this sentence. 
So this was me attempting to organize my kitchen cabinets before we had to run errands, but all I was able to get done was just the one cabinet. I was kind of back and forth homeschooling and before I knew it, it was time to go. But in this cabinet, I keep all of my like glass food storage dishes. It's a little chaotic, so I'm just gonna take a minute to straighten that up and I wanna move all of my glass jars over here as well. I didn't get to that part today. I've been keeping my jars on my island shelves and it's just, it makes more sense to bring the jars over here to this cabinet. So uh, we'll get to that tomorrow as well as some other cabinets that I need to reorganize. As for now, this cabinet looks so much better. This day has just completely disappeared. School took us a little while this morning and then between that and running errands, the day has just gone. So it is like almost five o'clock now and I'm just getting around to my to-do list. We just got home with the groceries so I'm gonna share a haul really quick. I gotta make some dinner. I wanna get the sausage balls done today. And then while we were out, I realized that I did not thaw anything for our dinner. I'm planning on doing tacos tonight. I think they gave me my tomato for that. Oh well. Um, so we're gonna do tacos, which honestly, I can just throw some frozen ground beef in the pan. It works fine. I just would rather it be thawed. It cooks faster. It'll just take a little bit of extra time. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the grocery haul. So I chose Kroger this week because some of the items that I wanted to get were on sale. They were having like two for five sales. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm gonna do this grocery haul a little bit different. So we'll do it like face to face to the camera. I'll just pick the items up and show them to you instead of like facing the groceries. That'll be a nice switch up, I feel like. So I got, these were on sale two for five. And so my kids are really liking the Cascadian Farm cereals. I got one cinnamon crunch, that's their favorite. And then this one is something new. It's the mini fruitfuls. Then I would prefer to get from Walmart are the family lasagnas. This is the family lasagna from Kroger and it's really small I feel like. So the Walmart ones are a lot bigger, but just to have one in the freezer for now, I like to keep frozen lasagnas in my freezer because you never know <laughs> when you're in a crunch for dinner, it's better than running to the drive through So I just like to keep a lasagna in my freezer for convenience. Got two cans of organic green beans. My kids don't eat a lot of green vegetables, but they do eat green beans. I also got a can of organic tomato sauce, some ziti pasta. I'm gonna do like a baked ziti dish with that one night. Some Parmesan cheese, that will be to go in my sausage balls that I wanna make today. Got a couple of seasonings, so I have no cumin. I got a thing in that, and then also some Italian seasoning. The Italian seasoning also goes in the sausage balls. We got some salt. Lately, all of the kids have been liking Granny Smith apples, so I got us another bag of those. I love liquid IV. I've been drinking that a lot lately. I have gotten to where I'll have at least one a day, which honestly I need to cut back because it's kind of expensive, but I just really like it. Um, so my two favorite flavors are the lemon lime and then the firecracker. It's really good. So. I've been drinking the lemon lime a lot, so I decided just to get the firecracker this time. 
I got some garlic bread to go with our baked ziti one night. Got some veggies for stir fry. Got some organic tortillas. Got some Pepperidge Farm butter bread. So I got us some more yogurt. This is the Greek vanilla yogurt. I love the texture of Greek yogurt. It's very like thick and creamy. I, I don't know, it's just really good. If you compare it to like regular yogurt, you'll see the difference that I'm talking about. But I don't like plain Greek yogurt, but I do like the vanilla. It's got a really good flavor. Tonight we're doing tacos, so I got us some salsa. I also got a couple of things of taco sauce. We got this Taco Bell mild sauce, as well as Chipotle. I'm planning on doing a stir fry one night, so I got some stir fry sauce. A couple things of milk there. Um, we got two bags of the white corn tortilla chips. These were also on sale two for five, and I figured these would pair really nice with the, the salsa for a snack. So lately, I've been wanting just some ready to drink pourable iced coffee, and Stoke is one of my favorite brands. Got some strawberries and blueberries. Got some tater tots so we can do a tater tot casserole. Y'all pretty much know my meal plan at this point. <laughs> I think I've named off everything. And then I also got a couple of DiGiorno frozen pizzas. Again, for convenience on those nights where I'm like, crap, I didn't thaw anything for dinner. What are we going to have tonight? This will be what we have. Got one pepperoni and then one three meat. I like the three meat, um, but the kids, they just prefer to have the pepperoni. Let me let y'all in on a little life hack. If you're ever just too mentally exhausted to come up with a meal plan, use AI. <laughs> you can use any AI. Last night I used chat GPT. Um, you can use any of the AIs though. Like I think Snapchat has one, Facebook has theirs. I'm not sure if Instagram has one or not. Basically any of the AI chats, <laughs> go on there and ask for a meal plan. What I specifically asked for was a family friendly um, like family friendly easy dinner ideas I think is what I said and she populated uh, I think it was like five or six meals there was a couple of them that I knew uh, we weren't gonna eat and so I asked her for replacements I say her <laughs> whatever it is ask the robot for replacements and um, she gave me like a few more ideas and so I just picked and choose what I wanted from those meals and that's how I came up with my meal plan this week so if you're ever too just mentally exhausted use AI so here's what we got these are in no particular order I will just pick and choose on whatever day that I want to make the meal so the first meal is tacos we're gonna do that tonight Brenner which is breakfast for dinner we'll probably do like scrambled eggs bacon toast maybe some grits uh, breakfast for dinner there's a few things you can do and it's one of those really easy things to whip out last minute quesadillas we're gonna do that one night with some homemade Mexican rice I do some baked ziti with a garlic bread one night and then the last meal is a tater tot casserole so I've got a pound of ground beef for our tacos going I've got a pound of sausage for the sausage balls. I'm also gonna go ahead and boil some eggs. These are the eggs that I got today, but we've got six left in this carton. So I'm gonna boil all of these, maybe about six more of these as well. Um, just because my kids like boiled eggs for snack. They're a good source of protein. So I've been trying to keep some of those ready in the fridge for them just to grab.
today was one of those days I just felt like I was spinning my wheels, doing a lot, but not really getting anything accomplished, if you know what I mean, which I say I didn't get a lot done, but I actually got half my list done just with running errands and getting groceries. I was really wanting to get in my kitchen and work on some of the cabinets, and that's what I ran out of time for today, but in reality, I accomplished more than I thought I had. I was able to get the sausage balls done too, so sometimes we just have to remind ourselves to look at what we did get done and not focus so much on the things that we did not get done. Tomorrow is always a new day and whatever is left on your list will still be there and you can pick it right up. So that's what I did. I picked up the next day and finished everything that I wanted to do. So I do completely get everything on my list done in today's video. I'm gonna put the recipe to these sausage balls down below in the description box. Um, some of you have seen me make these before. If you are an OG, more than likely you have seen me make these because I've made them several times now here on my channel. Um, this is actually my mom's recipe. I don't remember where she got the recipe originally, but she's changed it and altered it to her own. And my kids love them. So what I like to do is make them for the freezer. They reheat so well. I know with some sausage ball recipes, you would use raw ground sausage, but we like to cook our sausage ahead of time, drain all of that excess grease. And they're a lot less greasy that way, um, but they are so easy to make. As you can see, I just dumped everything into my mixer, mix it all together. And you want it to be like a cookie dough texture, not too thin. You wanna have a little stiffness to it. And then I will spoon it out onto some pans and they'll bake on 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes. When they come out, they're like little sausage biscuits. It's sausage, egg and cheese all in one. And we like to dip them in syrup. I personally like to eat them with strawberry jam. They also pair really well with a bowl of grits or some fruit. Again, my kids love them, so I will have the recipe in the description box. dinner and getting the sausage balls prepped I was able to go ahead and prep our fruit for the week I got that washed and cut and that was all I had time for this evening I was ready to get into bed but here in a second we will flip to the next day and we'll finish out everything that I wanted to do
Okay, so on my list is to fix these shelves here in my laundry room. I'm in my hoodie today because for whatever reason, I just could not get warm. It was also raining outside and the temps have been a little bit cooler. <laughs> so maybe that's why. But uh, when I hung these shelves, I had to use anchors because of the stud placements and the anchors were just not holding up. The top shelf was loose. So I've not been putting anything up there um, out of fear that the whole shelf was gonna fall. Um, but the bottom shelf is holding strong, no issues there. But I do wanna get that top shelf reinforced. I think the anchor that I used the first time just weren't sturdy enough. So I replaced those with hopefully something that's gonna hold up this time. It's like we're running in circles going around every day getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday don't you want to go further away from the fray let's not get stuck in our worries we'll make our own way won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the this little lazy Susan I have my scent beads some clothespins for the clothesline and the plant is you know just for looks obviously but I did get some wool dryer balls to start using again so here in a second I'm gonna replace the greenery with my dryer balls who remembers the OG days I used to use those all the time when the boys were little I would add my essential oils to them and honestly I miss doing that which I don't use a lot of dryer sheets anyways that's something that I'm more so use in the winter months it's usually when our clothes tend to have more static, but that's really the only time that I use dryer sheets. But I like with the wool dryer balls, you can add essential oils and use whatever scent you like. There's a clean and fresh blend from Simply Earth that I like to use on our regular clothes. And then for our towels, I like to use lavender. But I can't relate. Do our actions even matter? Or is this a fate? At least now I'm feeling better. All right, so back to where I left off in the kitchen yesterday with my cabinets. I wanted to get all of these jars over to the cabinet. My island shelves are a little cramped right now because I do keep all of my appliances down here behind these curtains. I have my toaster, my crock pots, I have a cake plate, just stuff like that down here. And I also started keeping my pans down here as well. But someone was asking me for a link the other day to this island. And unfortunately, I don't have one to share because it was built locally. If I had a link, I would 100% share it with y'all. If I can ever find something similar, I will link it for y'all. cabinet is our cup cabinet. I also have a bin in here that I keep lids and straws in and I've got to do something different. It's a mess. I can't pull anything out without 10 more things falling out. So what I'm going to do is declutter first because I don't know about y'all, but we have 10 million of those good to grow juice bottles. My daughter has quite the collection, so I'm actually gonna toss all of those today. Sure, we'll end up with more, but this is just too many to keep. Um, they were taking up half the space. I'm 
too good for my own good yeah yeah i'll be there i'll be there in a minute even though This is an extra Lazy Susan that I have and I thought it would be a good idea to put the kids cups on it. Like just their everyday plastic drinking cups. I like to keep those on the bottom shelf because it's easier for them to grab and um, they don't have a ton. There's a couple they were drinking out of today but other than that this is it. On the second shelf I have their tumblers and drinking glasses and then on the very top I keep some of my bigger insulated cups and water bottles. on doing a whole kitchen declutter and organize on this video but I was like you know what while I'm at it let me go ahead and get these pots and pans this cabinet has also been driving me crazy so it feels good to have those spaces decluttered and organized again honestly have a couple more cabinets that need it but this is all I had in me today <laughs> the main thing with this cabinet is my lids they're just floating all over the place and the pots and pans are just thrown in here and it's really hard to get what I need when I need it so I'm actually going to take all of the lids and put those in a basket together and I think that just looks so much better and it's going to be a lot easier to get the lids that I need. I was going to use my caraway lid storage sleeve for those but when I got my caraway pots I live with my mom and we had installed the hooks that go to the sleeve on her cabinets and they're sticky so you can't reuse them but I do need to get some maybe some command hooks for that and I could at least you know hang those on the inside of the cabinet door. laundry because laundry is always on my to-do list it's never ending and the worst is letting it pile up so I've been trying to do my one load a day um, but that is going to be all for today's video I hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out with me while I checked off my to-do list remember to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments before you go and I'll see you in the next one <music>